Hey guys, and welcome to PrimandPrep.com. If you've never heard of us, uh, you should check out our site. It's down below. It's all about male grooming and wet shaving. We do product reviews. We have informational articles on wet shaving and male grooming in general. Um, but if you haven't checked us out, definitely check us out down below. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Taconic Shaving Soap. They make shaving creams and shaving soaps, but today I'm going to be doing the Bay Rum, which is one of my favorite scents, shaving soap review. They also have a lime shaving soap and a eucalyptus mint shaving soap that are that are both popular. And it does, I don't have it in here right now, but it does come in a nice tin. I really like it. You could load right out of here. But today I'm going to be loading right out of my mango wood bowl from Parker, which I really like because it looks amazing on my counter and it, Wet shaving is all about the experience that I like loading out of this guy. And it also works as a really good air freshener because it lets the bay rum scent out a little bit. Um, this puck, you can't really see, but it's it's pretty slick and it's a very dense puck. But uh, it's very slick because it contains hemp seed oil, coconut oil, and olive oil. Um, so it's very hydrating shaving soap in my opinion. But Let's get right down into the scent, and it is bay rum, obviously, one of, one of my favorites. Um, it is a mild bay rum compared to other bay rums that I've uh, used in the past. But um, from like a... Like, bay rum has like a very clove-like smell, so in terms of low clove to high clove, I'd say it's a pretty high clove scent to it, but it is still overall very mild. Um, and I like it a lot. So let's get right into lathering it up. So I'll load my brush up. Uh, today I'm using my Edwin Jagger Best Badger Brush. And I have my Edwin Jagger Porcelain Shaving Bowl as well. So let's do a little bit of loading um, so you can see what it looks like. Alright guys, that's about how much soap I like to get on there. And it is a little bit harder to load than other shaving soaps, such as like Colonel Conk. Um, it does take a little bit longer, but it's not that bad. And especially if you have a, you know, if your badger hair brush is nice and warm, it's, mine's been sitting in pretty hot water for about two or three minutes. Um, makes it easier to load. And if not, you could definitely throw this in the microwave for about 15 seconds, and that should also do the trick to make it a little bit easier to load onto the brush. But let's jump right into this. I really like this um, this Edwin Jagger black porcelain shaving bowl because it maintains the heat really well and I really like this handle. It allows me to maneuver both the bowl as well as the shaving brush as I'm whipping up a lather. So let me do that for you guys right now. Alright guys, my lather is fully whipped up. That took me um, about a minute and a half. It does take me to two minutes. It does take me like 30 to 45 seconds longer than uh, my other shaving soaps or shaving creams. And it doesn't make quite as much. So it is a little bit harder to load, a little bit harder to lather. But the quality of the lather is, in my opinion, one of the best. And as you are whipping it up, the bay rum really comes out. Uh, that very mild bay rum. My whole bathroom smells like it. It's definitely one of my favorite scents. But yeah, the lather it produces is very slick, just like the puck, if you could see before. Um, so I'll do a little demonstration. It's very, very slick. And it definitely makes enough shaving cream for about three passes, but not really more um, with how much I put on right there. It is a little bit thinner than most, and it does have a nice shine to it, and that's probably the olive oil, coconut oil, and that hemp seed oil that's working. But it does moisturize and soften the hairs tremendously, and I get really, really easy, really, really easy slick shaves out of this guy. Um, and if you don't know the benefits of coconut oil, you should read up on them. I actually use them as a moisturizer on my body just because it does such a good job of moisturizing. You could t tell the difference in your skin after a few months of using this shaving shaving soap or their shaving cream which also has similar ingredients um, yeah but this puck will 
running you about $12 on Amazon right now for four ounces, and that's about $3 an ounce, which is a little bit above uh, industry standards. It's a little bit pricier, but in my opinion, for the smell and how hydrating it is, um, sometimes I don't even use lotion or moisturizer after my shave because my skin feels so soft and moisturized already from, from the shave and from the uh, shaving shaving soap. So uh, that's one of the biggest benefits, but yeah, that's the end of my review, guys. I hope you guys liked it. Um, please give me a thumbs up if it was helpful for you guys. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like wet shaving information and male grooming tips. Definitely check out PrimitivePrep.com if you haven't yet. It's in the link in the description, and I guarantee you guys will find a lot of value out of that site. So until then, have some great shaves, guys. Whip up, whip up some fantastic lather, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.